I know it's another destructive performance. You seemed almost annoyed at the end of that quick. I didn't even warm up. I'll be real. I, I only threw one jab. That's what I think. That's what I recall. I threw a jab. But yeah, it's ended quick. I won't, what could I do? It's a nice statement performance, live on television. People get to see some of that power that you know you have. Oh, I am a monster. I told you, they don't call me animal for no reason. I have this gorilla power stuck to my muscles. You know, I've got to let it unleash on someone. Is that then the goal? Just keep knocking people out, keep putting your name forward? To be honest, I never look for the knockout. Truly, I never ever look for the knockout. I just take my time, find the right shot, and they just drop. Really. Were you expecting it to be that quick? <sighs> I was thinking I was going to take him out in the third, really. It felt like the moment he felt that power in the body shot, he was like, no, I don't, I don't want this. <laughs> Makes sense. Is this something that you're kind of getting used to now, that <laughs> these guys just don't want it in there? I'm not going to say used to because I prepare for everything. I prepare for it for me to go to a 4-4. Four, four. I mean a full four, 4. You know, I train extremely hard. I did a lot of runs for this, so uh, I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't go the full way, but it's okay. That's one of the things that, you know, you're at the beginning of your career. It might be nice to get through those rounds, wouldn't it? Get that practice. But do you know what is? One of my big bros told me, he said, get the early nights out because when the hard nights come, you got to stay there. So it's all right. Is that then we're looking at that towards six rounds, six yeah. round fights, even if we don't get there, but at least have the possibility to go six rounds? My next fight will be six. So we're going to get more rounds in. Do you feel these kind of performances, these statements out there as well, is going to make you be booked more often, get those fights that you crave? Absolutely. I spoke to Frank Warren and he's saying he's going to get me out more. So Uncle Frank needs to get me out. <laughs> That's not just the goal, isn't it? Put these good performances, put the statements, make people know your name. Absolutely. And then, do we feel, how do we feel like the progression is going? Do you feel you're getting stronger? Do you feel that you're getting better as a boxer as well, even though we're not getting to see that at the moment? I'm, I'm progressing immensely, immensely. Trust me, I work like a madman. Every single day, I study every single night, I train almost every single day. I'm growing immensely. Is it then you feel like you want to get into these fighters that are also going to be coming then for the victory? You know, is that kind of the opponents you want maybe soon? Do you know what? When I've done research on my opponent, he was... He was actually fighting. He was trying to come to knock people out. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, someone that would take me, someone worthy enough to take me. But he wasn't worthy enough, really. But it's good that you have that. You have to look at these angles. You have to, you have to prepare for everything. That's, that's going to be good for your progression, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And how do you feel it's going in the gym as well? Is it, it's happy days for you. I've been seeing that you've got maybe a bit of different coaching background at the moment. Um, I'm working with Ben Davidson, Barry Smith and Lee Wy um, Riley, um, Wiley, phenomenal coaches. Every single individual, phenomenal coach. Do you think as well that the experience you're going to get, seeing working around these high-level people is going to only be better for you? Say that again? Being able to work with such high-level people, you know, mm. the names, the people in the gym that Ben has, it's going to give you even more experience and more education. Absolutely. I, I, I believe all that experience helps out, but I still got to appreciate the individuals behind me before. For instance, my coach, like Martin Malcolm, phenomenal coach. You know, he helped me to get where I am today. And I have to always appreciate him for what he's done for me. It's all part of the journey, but do you think this is the next step? Absolutely, man. I need to be a world champion. I'm dying to be a world champion. So I work every single day. And then the goal then, 2023, active, many rounds, six fights, six rounders. Is that the goal? Absolutely. Well, we can't wait. Hopefully it's another sensational performance like tonight. You keep entertaining us. Trust me, every single performance has to be entertaining. I strive for excellence, and if I strive for excellence, it keeps getting better and better and better. Well, so far, we have not, not been entertained, so keep it going. Definitely. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you.